Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 18th tutorial in this course. In this tutorial, we're going to wrap up our discussion on links and uh, we're going to see how we can uh, include email links in our web pages. So this is going to be a very short tutorial and uh, I you know, hardly have any text in my uh, HTML file here. So I'm just going to jump in the body section and uh, in the body section, I have, uh, you know, opening P tag on line number nine and the closing p tag on the same line and uh, the text that I have between the opening and closing paragraph tags is uh, send us an email right and around this uh, text I have uh, wrapped around the anchor tag and uh, which has the uh, value mail to and uh, then there's a colon and uh, then there is an email address so you know let's say you have a website and uh, you know you have you want to have a link on the website and if people click on that link then you know their uh, default mail program opens up so that could be microsoft outlook or it could be thunderbird or whatever and uh, that pro program opens up and uh, then using that program if they've you know configured it and all they can send you emails now this is not very popular actually because you know very few people use uh, uh, you know mail programs and uh, for those who don't this is really not useful but for those who do you know this is again very convenient as well so you know you could use it or you could not use it it depends on uh, your usage really so mail to and then a colon and then the email address uh, to which you want the mail to be sent so let's say i want the mail to be sent to all about links at gmail.com so you know i would type in that here and you know you could just finish the tag there by having your closing quotation mark but if suppose you also want uh, you know a subject line for the mail that you receive on this email address and if you also want some text in the body uh, of the mail then you have to include uh, the following text as well so you type in the word subject after a question mark uh, following the email address and then you use the assignment operator or the equal to symbol and write the subject you don't have to put it again in single quotes or double quotes you just have to type it uh, you know in the same uh, set of double quotation marks as you've used for the value of the href attribute you just type in whatever subject you want so over here i've typed in i space love space your space side and then there's an exclamation symbol and uh, the text that i want in the body is just kidding and again i have assigned this value using the assignment operator that you see here and i've also included an ampersand between the subject line and the body line and this is important you know this is part of html syntax it's a requirement so you have subject equals value and then the ampersand symbol and then body equals value and then you have the closing double quotation mark of the uh, in value you know that you've assigned to the href attribute here and then uh, you know i have closed the anchor tag after closing the paragraph tag on line number nine i'll save this file and uh, when i open it in google chrome this is how it looks right so there's this link and if i click on it then uh, i actually use microsoft outlook so it might take a little bit of time because uh, you know i use outlook 2013 so there you go when I clicked on it, this opened up and uh, the email address is already there in the to field here, which is all about links at gmail.com. The subject line is already filled. I love your site. And, you know, the text is there uh, in the body of the mail too. Just kidding. So this is how email links work in HTML. And uh, I hope you guys uh, found this tutorial interesting and um, you know useful. And uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video in which we'll discuss more HTML features and uh, see you in the next video. Till then, take care.